Okay, sorry I'm just starting this behind, but I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> Okay, so I am making duck for dinner, and um, I'm doing it in my Instapot. So I, what all I've done so far was I put about two tablespoons of butter in here. I turned it on to saute mode, and I just browned the one side after I seasoned it with salt and pepper. Um, I browned the one side for about four or five minutes, and now I just put um, another tablespoon, flipped it over. And now I'm browning the other side that also has salt and pepper on it. So that's all you've missed so far. So that's sauteing. And just so it can get browned on both sides. After that, in about four or five minutes is done, I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock, which was from a chicken that I, um, I had just canned this actually yesterday or two days ago. Um, I made a chicken and I made stock with the juices. So this is homemade chicken stock. So it's got a nice dark color to it and to make that it was just the chicken bones um you know the pieces we didn't use from the chicken and the water um some potatoes celery a couple carrots uh onion i think that was about it so that's what made that chicken stock so this is going i just want to do it like i said for about four to five minutes so it has a nice browning on it I will be putting bay leaves and rosemary from our garden in here as well. That's the salt and pepper that I use. All right, so I'm gonna try to lift this so you can see it. So we can see what it looks like so far. It's getting there. I wanna see if I can tilt it a little bit hard to do this when you don't want to burn yourself. There we go. Tilt it up a little bit so it gets the entire bottom. I'm actually going to throw a little sliver of butter in there. All right, so that's nice and brown. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my chicken stock. And I want to do this so it doesn't wash away all my seasonings. Too many times I see cooking things and I see people salt and pepper it. And then they pour water right on top of it. And it turns out all to wash away. It makes no sense to me. I never understand that. So I'm going to make sure I pour it on the side. Okay. go. Good deal. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit make sure that cheese gets all underneath of there. I'm also going to put in, like I said, my rosemary. I'm going to try to stuff that inside of the duck along with my bay leaves. Go. So that's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and put my top on it. Make sure it's set to sealed. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to put this on manual for 40 minutes. set to high pressure for 40 minutes. All right, so time's up. It is set and did a natural release. So I'm just open, I just opened it up and here it is. 
So if you want to get a crispy, more crispy top on this, you're going to take it out, put it in a pan, and put it in the oven on broil for about five, maybe ten minutes, depending on your oven. So I've taken it out with two spatulas. And I already have my oven set to broil. So I'm just going to take it out just like it is. Stick it in there. And here we have some yummy goodness that we can make a gravy out of. Um, deciding do I want to do that? I probably will. So I'll do that with just some um, cornstarch, I guess, and get that thickened up while that's browning in the oven. All right, so I poured it in there, and I'm just giving it a good whisk. Get that all incorporated. It's very steamy. Sorry for the video. It smells so good. And we're having potatoes with this, so that's why I figured I'd make a gravy. <laughs> all right, time's up. I've just taken this out of the oven. It looks delicious. I'm gonna turn the gravy off. There it is. All right, some potatoes, some corn. We are good to go. I'll plate it up and let you see the final outcome. And here it is, all plated up. So I like my corn with my potatoes, so that's why mine's like that. But here's the gravy on the thigh and the leg together. This is like very yummy.